What's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm finally bringing you my end game druid build. This is also applies for leveling as well into the end game. But I have everything that I need for the build, and I wanted to break it down for you because when I show you the live footage, it's going to be insane. And you guys are going to love it. I'm sure all of you really know about the pulverized build uh, with the uh, druid, but pulverized is absolutely insane. It's very, very strong for leveling, and then it's even stronger in the end game. So real quick, let me go over my skills here and abilities. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the, the Paragon board, but once you get to 50 plus, like this is just insane. So when you're leveling, you're going to want to take Maul, okay? Because we're going to be an overpower build. So you want to take Maul so that way you stay in Werebear form. Okay, when you get this unique helmet, your Earth skills are now Werebear skills, which is why we're rocking Earth Spike instead. All right, so you run Maul first. All the way up to uh, increase the radius of uh, Maul by 25%. Then we're going to come down. And because we want to do as much damage with Pulverize as possible, we're taking one in the Heart of the Wild plus three in Wild Impulse. Then we're going to have five in Pulverize into Enhanced Pulverize, then into Primal Pulverize. So that way enemies deal less damage to us. Very important. Then we're doing three points in uh, Predatory Instinct because we're going to be up close and personal. We're going to have 6% increased Critical Strike Chance, which is huge. And then we're doing Iron Fur. You gain 9% 9, 9 damage reduction while in Werebear form, which we're going to be in Werebear form the entire time. You should never come out of Werebear form. Next, we have Earth and Bulwark. This is our main Fortify skill. Okay, we're going to be Fortified pretty much the whole time. This is going to be one of our three ways to become unstoppable. So then we have Preserve Earth and Bulwark for more Fortify. We're taking one point in Ancestral Fortitude just so we can get to Vigilance. So we gain another 10 damage reduction, 10% damage reduction for six seconds after popping Earth and Bulwark. Then we have Debilitating Roar. This is a huge, um, huge power ability because it fortifies us. And then it allows us to have 70% damage reduction for four seconds. It's absolutely insane. You just become a huge tank. And then we have Preserving Debilitating Roar, which gives us a good heal. So uh, then we come down. This is just from skills. We don't take anything there. Then we come down and we're going to take Trample. We have to have Trample. This is another way to be unstoppable. Then Enhanced Trample is going to give us Trample bonus damage. And then we're taking Natural Trample. Now, during your leveling process, if you feel like you're low on Spirit, then do Savage. But once you can have Spirit sustained, you want to have the Fortify. You just want to be a tank. You just want to be able to Trample, hit stuff with your Earth and Spike, and then your um, Pulverize and just Fortify, Fortify and just be there doing massive amounts of damage. Next, this is where we talk about our overpowering, which is very important, which is why we need to stay fortified as long as possible. So mending gives us uh, more healing, but we only take that to get to provocation because while we remain in werebear form for 20 seconds, which we're always gonna be in werebear form, our next skill auto overpowers. Okay, now there's two ways that we accomplish being in werebear form. One is in the end game when you get this armor chest, which is uh, makes Werebear your true form and gives plus two ranks to all Werebear forms. But until you get this, you're going to use Maul. Every few seconds, you're going to swipe with Maul to stay in Werebear form. Pulverize keeps you in Werebear. Trample keeps you in Werebear. And then uh, our Dibble Attending Roar keeps you in Werebear. And then so does our Grizzly Rage. Now, there is a brief second you go to human form after popping Earth of Bulwark. But if you pop that and then instantly Maul, then you don't lose out on being in uh, Werebear form. So next we come down and we grab, we max out all three of these, all right? Crush and Earth to deal more damage against slowed, stunned, and immobilized. Uh, critical Strikes will Earth Skills fortify us. And then Stone Guard, while we have Fortify, our Earth Skills deal even more damage, okay? Then we're gonna come down and we're gonna take two points in defensive posture, increase the amount of Fortify by 10% by all sources, which is huge. Then we take three in Defiance because all of our skills are nature magic now because of our um, abilities that make our earth skills Hello. into werebear skills and vice versa one point into circle of life to give us some more um, healing and then three into resonance so we triple this bonus if we cast a, a earth skill and then a storm skill but we're not worried about that we're just getting six percent increased damage which is huge then our big boy power grizzly rage we shift and get unstoppable then we have a uh, we're in a werebear form, which just makes us even stronger. And then we have gain 8% base life and four to five per second. Now our passive here is while you are leveling, you're going to take Ursine strength because you do more damage. All right, but once you get towards the end game, 
you want to do earth and might so that way you have the crit chances to get your skills or your spirit completely refilled and then have um basically 100 percent crit strike for five seconds if the targets are stunned and immobilized which is just really really cool so this is really really strong all right so into the gear so the main powers you want for this is really really strong once you get going in the early game for leveling you're going to be able to get this skill here where you fortify your earth skills gain two ranks this is a codex which you can get the next one that's a codex you can get is this one pulverize is now an earth skill and after you cast it you get tectonic spikes but this is the main one and then the last one that also gives you um is a codex is this one right here damage from earth skills slow enemies which is the crowd control variant so you need those three then you need the two ancestral pieces here for the end game with werebear form permanent and then earth skills are werebear next you're going to take earth and bulwark to get that increased to 15 seconds and then as we're killing enemies our shield replenishes which makes us even more of a tank then we're going to have um we got that one and then we're going to have pulverized create a shockwave that travels forward so we get some massive amounts of aoe damage then we're taking core skills deal up to 57 percent increased damage based on the amount of fortify everything we do fortifies us so we're going to be doing a crap ton of damage then of course we have pulverize our earth skill and then the last one is earth skills deal 30 times more crit damage to crowd control enemies Greetings. everything's gonna be crowd controlled we just got a crit and we do massive amounts of damage so that is the build guys this is really really cool i'm gonna leave the the um, link to the planner down in the description below but we're gonna go do a dungeon and just knock this out it's gonna be really really fun you guys get to see how the build works now when it comes to your spirit boons guys these are the the last piece to the puzzle you're going to have all of your spirit boons unlocked make sure you go do the quest but we're gonna put two in the snake one okay i don't know why this is dear this is the snake one but we're gonna have a city and slam so every 20th kill causes your next earth skill to overpower which all of our skills are earth or all of our abilities are earth skills and then we're taking calm before the storm i really like this because i'm lucky hit all of our skills are nature magic and it gives us uh, a chance to have 10 percent reduce the cooldown by two seconds which is our grizzly rage then in the wolf one we're taking energized dealing damage on a lucky hit gives us spirit back then we're taking avian wrath for 30 percent more crit damage and then we're doing awareness, so we take 10% less damage from elites, which makes us even more tanky. All right, here we go. Get it going. You guys are gonna see how crazy strong this is. I'm not ready yet. We crit for so much damage. All right. Let's move up. The build is just amazing, guys. It's so good. I must wait a Crit, you get the overpower damage. Oh man, we don't have a lot of people here for this. I'm and we get the cinders. With... Oh, that's so good. You are very, very tanky in this build. Grouping is cheating. <laughs> now for the Legion event. Gotta go up, gotta go up. Oh, crap. I must wait a moment. Uh, I guess it's either side, huh? We really don't have a lot of people here. I'm stunned. That's crazy. Where is everybody? I must wait a moment. Oh. All right, we barely got to the first boss. I'm not ready yet. Try to we got to just fight together as much as possible. Oh, go Grizzly Rage. I'm not ready. go nice and we're doing this with like five people that's crazy we just gotta stay together Ooh, lightning storm I'm 
not ready yet. Nice, nice. Let's go. Crushing, crushing. Here we go. Ooh. I must wait a moment. Nice. We can definitely do this. It just I don't think I've ever done a Legion event with this few people before. 67, let's go. I must wait a minute. Oh yeah. I think a few more people showed up. Maybe just wrap around. Getting the res. Poor Reyna. Poor Reyna. Alright, second boss. I'm not ready yet. Ooh. Oh. We gotta kill the things. Face tanking, just face tanking. Trying to destroy this altar. I'm not ready yet. There we go. Bro. Kill this little girl. I'm not ready yet. Nice. Ten seconds to kill this elite. Can we do it? I must wait a moment. Nice. Holy crap, that was huge. Oh yeah. The AoE damage is insane. Must wait a moment. Oh crap, we gotta go around. I'm coming. I'm on the way. God, the, the, the rogue is over here just soloing these elites. Let's go, dude. Alright, nice. Slide on down. Gotta take down this dang altar. Oh yeah, look at the crits. Whew. Blood Bishop, huh? I'm killing the blood pulse guys first. Yep, I got you one. Kill the kill the ads first. Nice. Now we take this little sucker down. Nice. Very nice. That's how we do it. Oh, we didn't slay all three, but that's okay. Still a really good run. Very, very good run. All right, guys, as you can see, the build is just absolutely insane, guys. I hope you guys really do enjoy it. Make sure to like the video. Comment down below what do you guys think about Druid Pulverize. And make sure to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.